Hello everyone, welcome to our channel IV Legal. In continuation to our Indian Evidence Act lecture series, today we are going to discuss about section 29 of Indian Evidence Act. This section basically talks about confession otherwise relevant, not to become irrelevant because of promise of secrecy or etc. So the, the basic heading of this section states that agar koi confession relevant hai, if the confession is relevant then it does not become irrelevant merely because of any promise of secrecy or any other activities etc is the word used. So wo aur kaun si cheeze hai jis karan se confession irrelevant nahi hoga that those we are going to discuss now. Ki confession agar admissible hai, relevant hai, sab proper tarikhe se hua hai, magistrate ke behaf, before, magistrate ke behaf pe hai, as per section 164 confess kiya hai. So it, that confession does not, if and it is not, if it is not hit by section 24, 25, 26, then that confession, if it becomes relevant, then it cannot be, it cannot be made irrelevant merely because, merely because, uh, because ke kaun se ground se wo hum discuss karenge. So merely because pehla hai ki, when if such confession is made under a promise of secrecy. Hum ek example se samajhte hai, isko bhoat simple hai, ki jase maan lo, A is accused of murdering B. Now, A is accused of murdering B and later on A confesses to his close friend C that he has murdered A, that A has murdered, that he himself has murdered B. Agar wo apne friend C ko confess kar leta hai, A apne close friend C ko ye confess karta hai ki haan usi ne B ko maara hai. And this confession is made by A to his close friend C under the promise of secrecy ki C kisi ko bataye na. Isko secret rakhe. So is promise of, under this promise of secrecy, if A makes any confession which is explicitly voluntarily explicitly voluntary and there is no inducement threat or promise and it is not hit by section 24 then this confession becomes relevant ye batata hai section ki confession kyunki relevant tha anyway to ye isliye relevant nahi ho jayega ki it is made before, under a promise of secrecy wo promise of secrecy ki yahan par koi value nahi hai dusra point aata hai ki if it is made if the if the confession is made in consequence of any fraud or deception practiced on accused jaise ki main अगर कोई अगर किसी की किसी की रिकॉर्डिंग कर लेता हूं सपोज किसी को मतलब दो 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 पार्टी टू डिस्प्यूट है पार्टी टू डिस्प्यूट को मैं किसी के रूम में बुलाता हूं उनसे उनका कन्फेशन ले लेता हूं कन्फेशन कैसे लेता हूं कि उन पे उन, उन पे डिसेप्शन या फ्रॉड प्रैक्टिस करता हूं कैसे कि उनको रूम में बुलाया उनको पता नहीं है कि उस रूम में ऑलरेडी कैमरा लगे हुए हैं माइक लगा हुआ है टेबल के नीचे और वो माइक सब कुछ रिकॉर्ड कर रहा है उनके जो भी स्टेटमेंट्स हैं एंड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ सच डिसेप्शन बाय प्रैक्टिसिंग सच डिसेप्शन इफ आई रिकॉर्ड देयर स्टेटमेंट्स and in that statements, if they confess their actual crime, then that would be relevant, that would be admissible if the said confession is not hit by section 24 and is completely voluntary. If it is voluntary, it is made not made under any inducement threat or promise, then and if it is not made before police officer, then it is relevant and it is admissible. Merely because it was it was obtained on account of any fraud or deception on accused it does not become irrelevant so that was about section uh, that, that was the second case in which me, uh, the even if the confession is relevant does not become irrelevant the third case is when the accused was drunk ab accused agar intoxicated hai and out of intoxication kisi bhi nashe mein agar wo kuch bolta hai the, the statements made in during his intoxication are not basically uh, made irrelevant because that he is the because the person is intoxicated they are relevant and admissible but yahan par kyunki matlab usually presume ye karte hain ki aadmi nashe mein hai to sach bolega theek hai ki the intoxicated person generally speaks truth but there are again circumstances when the court has the discretion to look into the matter and may arrive at a different conclusion that whether the intoxicated person was really in a situation to make such confession to have a mental capability to make such confession or was out of his control, out of the control of his mind, then in that case, court may even disregard and may consider as irrelevant. But as per this section, it is presumed that even uh, the statement, even the confession made by the accused, if it is admissible, if it is relevant otherwise, then it does not become irrelevant merely because the accused while making the confession was drunk. This was the third case. Now, the fourth case. Fourth case, he told that in any answer, in any answer to question, which accused is not bound to answer, but still, if he answers, it's admissible. So, ये ये है मतलब इसमें ये बता रहा है कि अगर मेरे को पता है means अगर मैं किसी question को answer करने के लिए bound नहीं हूँ but उसके बाद भी अगर मैं कुछ question का answer कर देता हूँ and in in that process, if I make any confession, that confession is relevant and it that confession does not become irrelevant merely on the ground कि मैं ये बोलूँ कि मैं इस question को answer करने के लिए bound नहीं था 
और अब क्योंकि मैंने आंसर दे दिया है तो क्योंकि मैं उससे बाउंड नहीं था इसलिए दिस शुड नॉट बी टेकन इनटू कंसीडरेशन एंड दिस शुड नॉट बी कंसीडर्ड एज अ कन्फेशन नहीं दैट कन्फेशन बिकम्स रेलेवेंट इवन इफ इवन इफ आई वॉज नॉट बाउंड टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन तभी आपने यूजली देखा होगा कि सीबीआई कभी कोई रेड पड़ती है या कुछ होता है तो जो इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग अथॉरिटीज होती हैं और जो रेट लगाने जो रेट पर रेट मारती हैं जो घरों में घुसते हैं वो सारे ऑफिसर्स एक ही क्वेश्चन को चार चार पांच पांच बार घुमा के पूछते हैं रीजन भी कि आपको नहीं पता आप किस क्वेश्चन को आंसर करने के लिए बाउंड हो और किसको आंसर करने के लिए बाउंड नहीं हो बट इफ इन केस आपने वो आंसर कर दिया देन इफ इट इज नॉट इफ इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग ऑल द कंडीशन इन अर्लियर सेक्शन एंड इट इज नॉट हिट बाय सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फोर इट वॉज नॉट ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ इंड्यूसमेंट थ्रेट प्रोमिस एंड इट वॉज मेड वॉलेंट्रीली देन इट बिकम्स एडमिसेबल तो वो सीबीआई ऑफिसर्स क्वेश्चन को एक ही सेम क्वेश्चन को घुमा घुमा के पूछते हैं जिससे कि वो एक्चुअल कन्फेशन आपसे ड्राइव कर पाए और जब वो कन्फेशन आ जाता है तो वो उसको रिकॉर्ड कर लेते हैं सो दैट वॉज सो दैट साउ दैट बिकम्स रेलिवेंट की इन एन आंसर टू क्वेश्चन विच अक्यूज इज नॉट बाउंड टू आंसर बट इफ स्टिल ही आंसर देन इफ इन दिस आंसर ही मेक्स अ कन्फेशन दैट वुड नॉट बी इरेलीवेंट बिकॉज ही वॉज नॉट बाउंड Even if he is not bound, but if he answers, that becomes relevant. ठीक है फिर आता fifth case where the if the confession is made, uh, if is if, if, if the confession is relevant, otherwise then it does not become re- irrelevant merely if the confession was made by the accused without giving him the warning, the warning of as to what he confused is not entitled is not bound to make the statement, bound to make the confession, and if he makes such confession, then that confession confessional statement may be used against him against him. अगर अक्यूज को हमने ये वार्निंग नहीं दी कि आप कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट देने के लिए बाउंड नहीं है आप चाहे तो नहीं भी दे सकते हैं और अगर आप दे देते हैं तो ये हम आपके अगेंस्ट भी यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है अगर ये वार्निंग नहीं दी और उसके बाद भी अगर कोई कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट दे देता है दैट कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट इज रेलिवेंट अब यहाँ पर एक बहुत ध्यान से समझने वाली बात है कि अगर वार्निंग स्टेटमेंट वार्निंग देना तो हमेशा हमने तो जो पढ़ा है वो यही है ना कि वार्निंग देना जरूरी होता है कि आप कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट मैंडेटरी नहीं है आपको देना अगर आप दे देते हो तो आपके अगेंस्ट प्रूव होगा ये मजिस्ट्रेट की ड्यूटी बनती है एस पर सेक्शन 164 ऑफ सीआरपीसी तो यहाँ पर ये डिफरेंशिएशन जरूरी है समझना कि दिस सेक्शन जो बता रहा है कि इवन इफ इट इज मेड विदाउट गिविंग वार्निंग द कन्फेशन इज रेलिवेंट एंड इज नॉट इलेवेंट मियरली ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट देर वॉज नो वार्निंग गिवन टू दूस बिफोर सीकिंग द कन्फेशन सो दिस इज डीलिंग विद एक्स्ट्रा जुडिशियल कन्फेशन एंड जो वन ऑफ सीआरपीसी का मैंडेट है दैट डील्स विद जुडिशियल कन्फेशन so what this section is covering is extra judicial confessions जो apart from magistrate अगर कोई confession दे रहे हैं कहाँ पे देते हैं apart from magistrate किसी friend को बता दिया that becomes relevant किसी village मतलब किसी और आप जो जो village का मुखिया होता है उन लोगों को बता दिया तो that that those confessions are relevant if even if the person even if it is made by the accused without Uh, telling him without warning him that he is not entitled to make confessional statement that becomes relevant but agar wahi magist court mein agar koi confession de raha hai then that has to be made as per section 164 if it is not made as per section 164 that means as per section 164 matlab ki agar magistrate ki duty hai ki usko warning deni hai accused ko before seeking the confessional statement warning kis type ki ki aap confession statement dene ke liye bound nahi hai agar aap dete hain to ye confessional statement aapke against bhi prove ho sakta hai to so, If magistrate takes a confessional statement without giving this warning, then that statement, that confession becomes inadmissible because he has not complied with the section 164 of CRPC. But ये चीज सिर्फ judicial confessions को restrict करती है. So this section, if when states that there is no need to give warning, is only limited to extra judicial confessions. So this was held in the case of State of UP versus Singhala Singh, wherein it was stated that if confession is recorded by magistrate. and if the same is not recorded as per section 164 of crpc then it would not be admissible means if the confession is recorded by magistrate without giving warning it would be inadmissible it would be irrelevant but so section 29 therefore was only applied to extra judicial confessions that was the conclusion derived ki kyunki 164 of crpc mein agar mandatory hai dena aapko warning to fir ye section kiske bare mein baat kar raha hai to ye section baat kar raha hai extra judicial confession ke bare mein because judicial confessions ke liye to 164 of crpc ke through warning dena zaruri hai by the magistrate to the accused before seeking confessional statement so this was all about section 29 jahan par humne discuss kiya ki if the confession is relevant otherwise then it it will not become irrelevant merely because uh, ya, ya to wo promise of secrecy ke under hua hai ya fir accused was drunk ya fir if the uh, if person answers any question which is not bound to answer ya fir it is obtained on account of a consequence to a person not received any warning of the same then also it becomes relevant this was all about section 29 अब हमारी नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बात करेंगे सेक्शन 30 की एंड दैट्स अ विल कंटिन्यू आवर इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट लेक्चर सीरीज 
Till the time, bye bye. Take care.